So my family is not that kind with a lot of pets but the only pets we had in my family were birds and fishes. In this video we are going to talk about the birds we had cause um, I will make another video about fish if you like this one. As long as I remember the first pet we ever had were chicks. Those are a thing by the way. Like um, they were five and were colorful. I don't remember much. The only thing I remember is there were two pinks, a white, a yellow and a green. And I was afraid of chicks. I don't know why. I was five at that time by the way. I don't know why but my 5 year old brain thought that their mouth would open up and they will eat me like a demogorgon. But they ended up dying and we had a funeral. So uh, yeah RIP. Oh I just remembered my friend whose name is um let's name him KZ for the sake of this video. So KZ had a Persian kitty but it got into an accident which was his entire fault by the way and it died. R.I.P. even though I didn't see the cat or know much about it. That's not only the sad part but what he did next will make you even mad. We we here refers to us friends and um, we asked him where did he bury it and then he goes Ah uh, yeah about it I didn't bury it. I threw it in a dustbin. Instead of burying it he threw it in the dumpster not, not like the wasteland but in a bin. Which is large. And green and has a recycle symbol on it. He literally threw it in the bin. We were so mad at him and Casey didn't even have a little bit of guilt. He was like, so what am I supposed to do instead of throwing it in a dustbin? My friend who is an animal lover, he almost punched Casey but we stopped him from doing that. I still hate Casey for doing that. Back to what I was talking about. After those little demogorgons, and one day me, my brothers and my mom passed by a pet store. My brother goes, Mommy, can we have a talking parrot? And my mom goes, Yeah, sure, why not? We ended up buying a pair of lovebirds because they didn't have parrots and we named them Huddy Boy which means Bony and Yellow Bello because it was yellow. We had a great time with those birds. They were lovely but the happiness didn't last long. One day, it was Saturday and date was 6th of January 2017. I remember it. My mom wakes us up and tells that a cat ate the birds. My brother who doesn't wake up even if we throw a bucket of water at him, that's an exaggeration by the way, woke up and we ran to the cage and we see the cage open, the grains are spilled, we see some feathers, much blood on the floor and some cat's footprints. We start crying like a lot. Even though we had like a 20 day relationship with the birds, our house was being repainted at that time and turns out the painter guy left the window open and the cat sneaked in and ate our birds. It was just an assumption that the birds died because we didn't find the body. Fast forward to a good two weeks, we were at my grandma's during the holidays baby and we were coming back after a good food run because we are about to do a party or something like that so we went to gather a bunch of food and yeah we saw some guys selling parrots and we bought them in thought of freeing them from their misery of cage we fed the parrots for a day we gave the parrots like good food not chocolate kids don't feed your parrots chocolate because it's poisonous we tried to teach the parrots how to speak but they didn't as it was only first and we kids were not smart enough to know that and the next day we took the parrots to the terrace and opened the cage but Here's the thing, the parrots didn't fly. Turns out the parrot seller was cheeky enough to cut out the feathers so the parrots cannot fly. We ended up giving the parrots to our cook as she had a mini forest-ish thing behind her house and they were free. We didn't get to name him by the way. And then after a year we bought some chicks, yes the little demogorgons. This time I wasn't afraid or anything, I was rather excited for having them. We had five chicks again. We created a little house for them using a cardboard with holes for ventilation and periodic food dispenser. And we named them after their skin color or should I say feather colors because we were very lazy to select. One day the yellow chick looked like it is about to die. We freaked out and we didn't know what to do. We were like jumping around not knowing what to do. Couldn't breathe because it swallowed a piece of cardboard and it got stuck in the mouth and it, is, it like blocked its mouth and uh, it could not breathe. Air could not go into the lungs so it was very weak. And then we performed a surgery and saved it. Just we made the chick spit out the card and it was back to normal. Later we ended up giving all the five chicks to the same cooks we gave the parrots. Yeah, I know. I know that the animation is not that good. Anyway, subscribe if you are new, like the video if it's nice. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one.